Good afternoon, a much better day for the Aussie market. Shares were actually up by almost half a percent by the end of the session. 29 point lift for the ASX 200, finishing up at 6,329. So second straight day of gains, follows on from the best day in about three weeks that we had on Tuesday. We've also hit the fresh 10 and a half year highs as well. It's the first time we've really had a, a, a finish above 6,300 points in a decisive manner this year as well. It could have even been better if it wasn't for a handful of large companies trading ex-dividend today. Uh, CBA was down 2.5%. It's paying out its dividend in late September. Suncorp was down 3 Tapcorp was down 35 So those three stocks alone wiped out about a fifth of a percent from the ASX 200 today. Plenty of profit results. Uh, some were received well, some not so much. So the main weights uh, were two companies really. Woodside Petroleum was down half, but IAG, Insurance Australia Group, the owner of NRMA, its profits were down a bit and it's returning more capital to investors, but its stock was down 6%. Uh, the winner, as far as the impact on the market goes, was CSL. Uh, this is the largest company in the healthcare sector. It rose six and a half percent. Now, its profits and its dividend actually rose quite impressively by almost 30 percent over the past year. It was partly thanks to more flu vaccines in the northern hemisphere and also double digit growth in uh, other blood products as well. So, in addition to this, it's flagging growth of about 15% in earnings for 2019. The other strong performer was West Farmers. It rose 3.2%. Now, at first glance, it didn't seem great because its profits were down 58% to $1.2 billion, but that had uh, was mainly due to one-off costs. So they're going through a period of transition at the moment. They're spinning off uh, their coals supermarket chain. They're expecting to do that by the end of the year. Uh, they've also been selling coal mines. They've uh, also were hit quite hard from uh, with one-off costs and write-downs associated with the, its exit from its UK and, and Irish um, uh, Bunnings stores there. Elsewhere, we had economic news out, which was uh, largely expected. It basically showed that wages growth is still uh, quite soft at the moment. 2.1% up over the year, largely in line with expectations. Uh, best growth was actually in Victoria. It doesn't change much as far as interest rates go. The Aussie dollar finally sits at around 72.1 US, so still near the worst levels in 18 months.